Today I'm going to show you how to set view settings in Photoshop. When you open a file, Photoshop will give you a view that places the entire photograph or image uh, within the Photoshop uh, workspace. If you want the edges of the image to come even closer to the workspace borders, you can click View, Fit on Screen. And that will give you the maximum large view in the normal editing environment. Now, if you want the maximum real view of your image, click on View Actual Pixels. And here you will see pixel by pixel an exact replica of your image as it is properly represented at your screen resolution. Now if we say view print size you'll see an approximation of how large the image or photograph will appear if you print it on a sheet of paper. Now this calculation depends on uh, many factors so it may be not completely accurate but it will give you a general idea of what print size you're working at. Now also under the view menu we have zoom in and we have zoom out but look at the menu entries and you'll see that it shows you the shortcut keys here for zoom in it's control plus and here it's control minus all right and as well for fit on screen and actual pixels control 0 and control 1 respectively so you don't actually have to go to the view menu you can use these shortcut keys to get the same effect so if i go control control plus repeatedly on my keyboard I get to zoom in, control minus, and I get to zoom out. Now in addition to the view menu, in the tool palette on the left hand side down near the bottom, we have the zoom tool. Okay, You can you see the uh, little pop-up hint here shows in brackets the letter Z. You can also press the letter Z to put the zoom tool into effect. That will give you uh, at the top here, uh, different buttons for zooming, uh, which actually include the same um, commands that we saw in the view menu, actual pixels, fit on screen. We also have a fill screen and a print size. If you click fill screen, we get uh, a slightly larger than the fit on screen. and if you click and drag across an area within your photograph or image you can zoom to that exact area. Okay, if you, that way, if, say if you're uh, looking at a picture of a face and you want to zoom in on the eye to edit the eye color uh, that would be one great way to do it. Now other options that we have are zoom all windows if you have more than one document open and resize windows to fit and also we have uh, zoom out mode so that if I switch to that and I just simply click on an area then we'll zoom out and Photoshop will try to center that area to the middle of the screen and here we zoom in by switching back. I hope you found that helpful. See my other videos for more help and tutorials. If you found this video tutorial useful, please subscribe for updates and new info. Support files and download downloads for my videos can be found at my website, helpvideoguru.com.